happy Halloween, everybody. Looks like it'll be a good one for trick or treaters. Uh, 74 degrees is where we are now. We've been to the mid 70s, four shy from the record. We do have a few high clouds rolling about, but that's no big deal. And in fact, the breezes are starting to come down as well. So the Halloween forecast, six o'clock. Again, the sun sets around 613, but as you're getting ready for the sun to go down, 72 degrees, so eerily warm, monstrously mild throughout the evening and kind of quiet on a creepy side as well as we drop into the like 66 degree range around 8 o'clock at night, which is still above our normal daytime high for this time of year. Okay, here are the 7 o'clock temperature projections. You see a few clouds and temperatures well above average, so looking very comfortable for trick-or-treaters throughout the state for tonight. We do have a change. The storm tracks to the north. You see a few clouds streaming in. That's not that big of a deal. A bigger deal will be later in the week where much needed moisture comes in when the storm track starts to build in our direction. Now tomorrow, you remember that cloud cover I was showing you, there's just going to be a continuation of that. So you see a mixture of clouds and sunshine throughout the day. Temperatures still above average and with it, we're going to have pretty mild temperatures statewide. All right, that's Tuesday. Wednesday, we do start to see a front drop down northeastern parts of the state. That being the case, this is a thing that will eventually kick up the winds Wednesday night into Thursday and draw in some cooler air as a storm system winds up to the west of us. So let's walk you through that in the seven day forecast. First of all, mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow, 72 degrees, pretty mild for your Wednesday, 68. Canyon winds start to increase. This would be on Thursday, dropping the temperatures into the 60s. So we have the humid air in place and as a storm system winds up to the west of us, this is Friday morning. Periods of showers, a couple of thunderstorms around. This is a warm storm, not expecting much snow with it, and then off and on showers and a few thunderstorms throughout the day on Friday. That storm system starts to kick to the east on Saturday, and the moisture will start to kick to the east as well. You do see eventually some drying, and it does appear that the driest day will be Sunday on into Monday. Don't forget to fall back on the clocks.